So we're going to write a program now to do a simple action like run a motor for three seconds and then stop. All right. So I start with obviously the start symbol. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is run a motor. All right, over here on the side, no matter what level you're in, if you're in Robo TX mode, which you should be because that's the controller we use, you'll have two motor symbols. This is the traditional motor symbol. This is an encoded motor symbol, All right? The black motors that are with the Fisher Technics parts are these motors. We only have a few encoded motors and they're put away. When you need them for projects later on, you can use those, all right? so. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was run a motor, okay, so I'm going to drag the motor in and when I open that dialog box up, it says motor output, the image is a motor, it is on interface 1, the speed is 8, I don't care whether it goes clockwise or counterclockwise right now, so I click OK. Alright, then the next piece I want to do is um, I want it to run for three seconds, so I need to put a timer in. Put the timer in, okay, and I'll connect that, right? Now, I want it to be three seconds, so I'll right click, and I have one second, one minute, one hour. I can change the number. That's going to be three seconds, okay? And then I want the motor to stop, so I come back to the same motor icon, right? Now it's going clockwise again, so I right click. I select stop, OK, and then I want my program to terminate. OK, so I drag that in. If I drag it close enough, it will auto connect. I can rearrange these a little bit. And now I run my program and make sure that it works. And it does, so I'm happy with that.